Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Eve. Look what I've got. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I uh, ignore the fact that there isn't a wrap. I forgot to attach it. I need to do it, but I just haven't been bothered yet. So in case you're not aware, I have been eyeing up the Peg and All Sendak roll for probably about a year. But where I am, it's well, it would cost about 165 quid. And then there's the problem of like importing duties, that kind of thing. If I get it sent here to the Netherlands, you can easily add 90 euros in fees. So basically it puts the Sendak out of my price range. I do have this Peganol pouch, which I love. This was purchased with birthday money from my future in-laws and I love it. But I do love this more. And today we're going to take you inside it so you can see how fabulous it is. So it should be clear, you can't purchase this. There's no way for you to buy this. I made it for myself. I do have a sewing pattern for it, which I'm going to be putting up on my web shop for my, for my business. But I'll add that link to the description when it is available. Maybe by the end of the week, we'll see. I still need to do photos. So the fabric that I opted to choose for this was a waxed cotton. Okay, you can see it's very quite thin and then to add a bit of pizzazz i also have this liberty this is dead stock fabric liberty kind of like ripstop and it's just beautiful colors and it does have a little bit of orange in it which is why i picked it so it does work with this fabric okay and i picked this rusty kind of fabric because it's one of my favorite colors in terms of comparison to the peg and all so the peg and all is a duck canvas a waxed duck canvas you can see like it scratches beautifully it's a lot thicker to this one this one is probably half the fabric weight of this one but it's fine because it means my pack's lighter let me show you the inside because i'm so excited so currently it has this little as you can see a little bit of color a tab with the buckle strap which i <laughs> i basically skipped a step i didn't write that step down in my instructions and i was following my instructions and then it got to the end i was like oh crap but hey ho this is how it looks isn't it just i'm so excited like it's so beautiful i showed it to david and he was like oh my gosh you could sell these in art shops up the road and i was like the art shop could never pay me what this is worth for the time that i spent to take look are you ready are you ready are you ready oh <gasps> see that is for me isn't it like if you know me you know how much i love color ready city oh <gasps> isn't it beautiful i love it so much i had it upstairs on my pillow last night and david was like watching me just admire it and he was like are you doing anything what are you doing i was like i'm just looking at it i had it propped up and i was just like it's so beautiful now shall i take you through it do you want to see through it we have this little pouch this is a little bit faff attached this section here this seam should sit here but i did it in a hastily way because i just wanted to get the job done so i might unpick that and attach it properly we'll see the other downside is you can see all this beautiful top stitching here which is great but these ones that attach the back pockets I didn't put the top stitching thread in the back and so it's a much thinner and I should have changed the colour. So these are all learning curves. You can see I also didn't mark this one in. This was a last minute stitch. You see it's like got a mark here. It's because it's two lines of stitching. Anyway, I'm waffling. Sorry. Here we go. I just get like so filled with like excitement when I look at it. Should I take you on the pocket first? Because that's where we started. So I just have a simple pocket opening. Now with the Sendak, you'll probably remember or know that when it's open, there's a zipper here and actually it's shaped. And actually I wanted a bigger pocket than that and I want it to be able to like pouch it open. Not that it's working at the moment. Maybe I'll add a popper somewhere so that I can just have easy access to it. So in here I've got my pencil sharpener and all of the broken crayons, neo colours, like all my broken ones. And I love them. I'm so excited. It's like I can mooch around and see what I want to find. And this wrap has literally been like customized to what I want from it. So over here on the right, the very first thing, this is the first pocket I planned out and sewed. There's my little peg and all. <gasps> You've seen this. This was from my dad for Christmas, which I'm really excited about. And that fits perfectly in there because it was designed to. I can't use these pockets when that's in there, these ones, because it should have allowed a bit more extra fabric here to come outwards a bit. I don't think I could fit anything in there really. Maybe a paintbrush, let's have a look. Oh, I could. <gasps> oh, there you go. I didn't think to try that. Oh, that's a bit tight. Okay, so the middle one I could fit. Because the thing is with canvas is it does stretch, waxed canvas, so it will stretch out a bit. So that's cool. Then we have the back pockets. 
Now, I didn't do exterior pockets. The Sendak has exterior pockets. I haven't done that, but that's because I also want to create it. I'm currently brainstorming how I could add uh, like a belt situation, because imagine this, turn this back, pop it against your body while you're standing and you've got access to all that beautiful light color. <gasps> so I'm trying to configure in my brain how I would do that. And I didn't want back pockets getting in the way. So we have this gorgeous bit of color that just makes me happy. There's no purpose for it. It doesn't serve a purpose. It's just gorgeous. Although I haven't stitched down, like it's held in place here. We, we refer to this as the facing, okay? So it's the flap, that's the flap, that's the flap facing. The flap facing is stitched only at the point where these pockets are sewn because it comes down to just below that. So in theory, you could use it as a secret pocket if you wanted to put something in the top, like, I don't know, a 20 pound bill in case, or 20 euro bill in case you need emergency money. You could whack it in there underneath and just let it float around. That's a possibility. But otherwise, it's just a beautiful, beautiful flap facing. <laughs> I love it so much. <sighs> then we have the main pockets, so the back pockets. So you can see that we have this beautiful pegonal. We've got Tombows. All the way along, I've added Tombows. And that's what I wanted for this because I'd just been using this pegonal pouch with my Tombows in. But my Tombows kind of like, it's they're too tall really for this. So I just want to keep this for my acrylic markers. So this has got all my Tombows in, which is perfect. And then, oh look, it's even trying to stand. Look at that. Oh, look, no hands. Woo, see my hands are here. Look, it stands. How cool. <laughs> And then along here we have, so these are like drawing items, uh, Micron, this is the one that I use most often, the 0.05 or 0.05, and that is a like two millimeter line. So this is the one I use most often if I'm using a fine liner. A mechanical pencil, which I love. This is a 0.3, so I get a really nice fine, and it's normally filled with a 2H. I've tried to buy more of these. They're quite weighty, so they're nice to handle. But they always seem to go out of stock. Then we have, well, ignore the pencils. This is my Fude, my Sailor Fude, which I love. I get really quick sketches with this. See the wonky nib? And that fits lovely in there. Uh, for reasons unknown to me, I decided to put my bone folder in. Actually, it's not for reasons unknown. I think I think I did it in order that if I wanted to randomly like cut some, fold some paper and tear it, I could. That's there. And we have a white pencil. We'll switch on that because that's the Chinese white and I always have a white pencil for any highlights. We've got paintbrush number one. This is my flat Midas Touch brush. That fits nicely into my palette which you can not see because it's just off screen. But let me show you the beautiful palette as well. See, it fits just in there nicely. Isn't it magical? Like, oh, I love it so much. And then because it's easy to have, we've also got a water brush pen. And that's another reason why the Tombows are in here, because if I've put Tombows down and I want to water them out, I can. Or I've got my Neo Colours, which are the Neo Colour 2s, which I can add water to. Then we've got the little, I think this is the number 8, silver. And then I thought I had the tiny one in here, but I must have taken it out. Let me lay it down so it's a bit more sensible. Then we have like, mm, these are the ones that I normally use for drawing as well. So I've got my black wing mat, which I love using. I get a really nice dark line. It's great for quick fashion sketches. Oh, it's stuck. This one is the extra stuffed pit pencil oil one. So I can do that and water will go over it. And then these ones I find I draw with quite a lot from Luminance with the dark indigo carmine lake and burnt sienna. So those are there. And then, oh, that's it, other colours, right. Sorry, my brain got confused. Um, also, I have an eraser. I don't really need a main eraser because I've got the one on the um, Blackwing Palomino and I've got this one, so I haven't put another eraser in because if I did, I would put it in here, but then it's like, it would get dirty with my ear colours. So in terms of pencils, I do love my Luminance and I love my Polychromos, but for this, I put in my Derwent Light like Fast, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I don't know, they might grow on me, but they're one of my like regrets from 2023. They're in that video if you haven't seen that. And then I also put in the other ones that I don't really use are the Holbeins. So I broke the Holbeins down by colour and I kind of put them in with the matching Tombows, like colour area. So we have like the pinks, the yellows, oranges, we've got some greens. That's more of a blue, actually. That shouldn't be there. That's the sax blue. Put that over there. And it's just, oh, I love it so much. I just, I just keep stroking it. Do you do that with things that you love? Do you stroke them? Yeah, so I have the Holbein pencils as well. And then my thinking is that I'm covered. If I just want to do pencil drawings, I've got a good mix of pencil colours. If I want to do Tombows with pencil on top, I can. If I want to do watercolour with pencil on top, I can. If I want to do Neo colour on top of pencil or on top of Tombow, I can. The other thing to note is this pocket here, yeah, this one, can fit. One second. 
but I basically made this other pocket so that these two pockets were interchangeable. So if for some reason I didn't want to take out my pegonol, I could evict it. I could remove these. <laughs> these were designed for neo colors, but then when I decided to add the pocket, because I wasn't going to add a pocket. When I decided to add the pocket, I was like, well, I can use those for other things. This can all come out. And then this one does fit. Now, let me just show you. You can see how that doesn't attach. So I could, if I wanted to like sneak something in there as a secret, but I'm not gonna do that. I could go through and stitch it down. I think with the peg and all one, I don't think they have a flat facing. I think it is just the flap. I could stitch it down, but then you'd see the stitching on the reverse, which kind of puts me off. But the thing is, if you've then got one of these, this gets caught. So you probably would wanna take that off or put it in so that it's facing down. So when it comes up, I'm not gonna get stuck. I think that's how I did it last night. So I can just pop it straight in. Um, see like that you can't fit anything else like this and this won't fit together because there's not enough space left well that actually hang on i just want to check something oh actually what am i talking about that does work because you've got enough in there actually now that i've added the pocket and then the strap would be going around so that would work if i wanted to take two pallets i could I just love it all so much. I wanted to put that in and then push that down like that. I want to see if I take out this one. I think I'd have to be more selective then about which colours I was including. That's not going to work. So I'd only be able to take three. So I lose three Tombows. Um, I need my black wing. Oh, maybe that one can go there. There we go. Maybe. There we go. I need definitely my dark indigo carmine. You know. Oh, that's going to rip that. That's not going to work. Okay, and then I lose five colour pencils and the pit pencil. Assuming that I wanted to do that. But I like my setup, how I had it before. So we're not going to do that. Oh, because it's just beautiful. Oh no, I lost my rubber. Oh, you lemon. No, come on, out you come. Oh, let's take that one out as well. Gooey, here it comes. It's squeezing cat food out of a pouch or something, isn't it? Oh. There we go. Silly. Where's the lid? I've lost the lid, friends. Oh no, it's on it. <laughs> Someone said to me in last week's video, oh, it's nice having like unedited ones. And I was like, oh, okay, but I think I've added too much air waffle to this one, so I may have to edit it after all. If I don't edit it, I won't have any bloopers to add at the end, will I? Okay, Carmine Lake, black indigo, or dark indigo, that's in a oil pencil. That one needs to go here because the Ooh, it's a bit thinner and this is too chunky, so it has to go there. I think if I make another version, which I probably should because I need multiple samples for my website, uh, in order to sell a sign pattern, I will have to slightly modify how this section, the top, is done. Maybe do it at a site like angle so there's like added e in garment making we would say there's like extra ease so that it can then be gathered in and sit like normal but the problem with that is then if it stretches out it becomes too big so we'll see pencils go in here do i want them up or down let's do it down and there we have it my friends isn't that beautiful oh i just love it so much oh i do have a oh no i got caught sorry i do have my little pot of water that I had in it last night and I dropped it. I couldn't find it um, and I found it this morning. So that could go, it needs to go somewhere. Okay. Oh no, well I could do that. And then actually with a bone holder, could go like that, couldn't it? I mean, do I need the bone thing? Probably not. I'm not gonna get that out now. Maybe in here with these ones. No. So if I put it too far in, it's gonna get lost because of the flat facing not being attached put it in here but then it's going to dirty because I've got my neo colours. Maybe I just put the pot of water in there. That would make more sense wouldn't it? See? Boom. There we go. Right I'll stop waffling because that's basically just me waffling. If you're interested in the sewing pattern for this, I know some people do so, like me. If you are interested in the sewing pattern and would like to check it out when it goes up 
in my online shop, which should be this weekend. I'm posting this video on Friday. It's not Friday today. I'm talking as if like today is Friday. It's not, today is not Friday. But it should be up on my online shop for my main website the weekend after this video goes live. So if you'd like the link, let me know and I'll pop it in the description. How beautiful is that? I do love it like this. Like, I think I'm gonna add the strap as an elastic just because it's gonna be hard to sew through now that this is already done. But look. I think my most favourite thing about it is just seeing the colour. Look at that. All oh, that colour. Colour here, colour here, colour here. And it's so beautiful. So on that note, I'm going to stop waffling. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your favourite part of my little mini wrap. It's not that mini actually. In the comments below. Do give the video a thumbs up if you made it this far. It lets me know that you made it this far. And thanks for watching. I'll see you again next week with another video. Take care. Bye. Um. Ooh. Um. Oh.